WMBD Sports Extra with Kurt Pegler and Patrick Cunningham. We're in the final stages of the boys' basketball season. Regionals will start next week. Welcome to Sports Extra. I'm Kurt Pegler. And I'm Patrick Cunningham. We start our highlights with two teams in the middle line. I looking to make noise in the postseason. Number one ranked Metamora traveling to East Peoria tonight. They're up seven in the third quarter until Sol Chown gets the steal for the Raiders. He throws it down with two hands on the other end. It's a five point game. Fourth quarter, Drew Tucker not afraid of the contact, draws the foul for the three point play. And then Justin Page, he's going to get past Ethan Kaiser, outstretches his arm, puts the shot up and in, but Kaiser, he'll answer back-to-back -back threes on the other end, leads the Redbirds to their 24th straight win with a 60-50 victory over the Raiders. Morton at home, they gave a special present to Dunlap for student Tessa Sutton, who is battling cancer, and presented a big check for its game ball run, almost $182,000 for the Children's Hospital. Late first quarter, Ethan Hurst driving from the corner, puts up that acrobatic shot. For the Eagles, Alex Evans saves the tip pass back under the bucket and up for two. Final seconds of the first quarter, Wes Gudeman to Tate Rowley just before the buzzer sounds, gets it to go, and the Eagles are going to soar on this next play in the second. Max Sutter to Griffin Card. Long pass. They fly out of Morton with a close overtime win. Washington looks for its second home win this week, taking on Canton. They beat the Rams on Tuesday night. Washington's Braden Vanderheide in the paint. Nice move here. He's going to lay this one in. The Panthers, you would figure, would control this one from start to finish down the lane. How about that move in scoring here? The Canton's Cale Barnhart on a fast break. He's looking at the net here, and he's going to flip this one in. But Washington's Micah Brewer on the fast break. He's going to get into the paint here, down the lane and in. And then Brewer's going to load up a three. He's going to hit this shot. Washington is a 57-31 winner at home over Canton. Whiteout night tonight in Bartonville, where Limestone plays host to the Pekin Dragons, and the Rockets had a third quarter lead. Logan Sprout with a runner down the lane here. After the double team, he got the pass, and he floats that one in. But the Dragons go on a little run here. It's Connor Worrell with a rebound hoop, scored, and the foul. And then Matthew Jurgens, some defense into offense. He's going to get the steal, and he's going to get the slam. Pekin 45, Limestone 37. What a matchup at U High tonight. The Pioneers play host to state. Defending state champion Sacred Heart Griffin off the steal. U High's Christian McKee is going to take it all the way to the hoop here and score. Flips that one in. It's another big night for Mason Funk. He's going to hit the jumper here from the top of the key. What a year he has had. And they're taking it to SHG. Ty Blake, offensive rebound here, stays with it, sticks this one back in. The Pioneers are smelling a big win here. And then Blake again takes it to the rim, scored, and the foul. They're storming the floor at U High. The Pioneers beat Sacred Heart Griffin 63-61. To the Big 12, Richwoods on the road at Danville. Marquel Newsom, he's going to be in the corner, finds Janelle Etherly down low for the layup, and he's going to have a big night because he's going to work down low again. Another pass to him, this one from Jared Jackson. He's going to put up two more, then he's going to make some plays on defense. Six foot three forward with the rejection. He helps lead Richwoods to a 71 64 win in Danville. Stay with the Big 12. It's Manuel at home tonight, hosting Urbana and controlling the game really from the opening minutes. The Rams are going to go inside to the big man, Lewis Bailey. Try stopping that. He's going to flip that one in. Then it's some quickness on display. Devontae Burst, a length of the floor drive, score it, and the foul for a beautiful three point play. And finally, more transition. Dietrich Richardson to Jerron Traps. He will score. It's all manual tonight, 73-41. Daniel Ruffin wearing his Unleash the Lions shirt as Peoria High plays host to Champagne Centennial. Really nice move here. LaShawn Stowers spins and scores here for Peoria High. Then it's going to be Daquan Little stepping into a three from the wing, and that one is down. And then how about Deontay Mann? He's got a three from the corner that's going to bounce three times off the rim and go in. Part of a 64-51 Peoria High victory. Notre Dame on the road at Champaign Central and it is a big night for Cooper Koch. He's going to knock down this corner three. This would help start a big night for him. And Owen Dillon, he's going to be double teamed. But watch him find Thomas Graham on the nice pass after a couple dribbles. He would finish with nine points. And then Koch now in the opposite corner. He's going to hit another three. 29 points for him tonight. An Irish win on the road, 69-46. Part of Illinois Conference matchup. It's Eureka at home against GCMS. Eureka's Tyler Tate makes a quick pass to Slater Wilcox, and he's going to score here. Then Tyler Heffern drives, and he's going to find the net here as that one's going to roll in. Jake Morin's going to make a move in the paint and get another bucket here. That one's going to go down, and then it's going to be Tate driving and scoring. He's going to lay this one in. It's uh, another home win for Eureka, 46-36 over Gibson City, Melvin Sibley. Tremont with a blue out in memory of Griffin, a student who passed away last year. Hosting Midwest Central, Owen Schmidt to Eli Woodley. He takes a step, puts it up and in, but it's going to be all Turks tonight. Senior Alex Garcia with the offensive board, puts it back up and in, got fouled as well. 
And Grant Williams with a nice pass to Nolan Parson crashes down for the easy two. Now it's fast break time. Sophomore Ryan Kaiser to his senior brother JT Kaiser for the bucket. Turks win 87-43. State ranked Illini Bluffs and Delavan scoring off. Good game tonight in Glassford. The visitors are down by two in the fourth quarter. Cooper Hansen, three-point play. Now it's a Delavan lead, but the Tigers control the rest of the ball game. Nice backdoor play here to Von White. He's going to flip that one in. Then senior Brandon Coates on his senior night with a big jumper for the lead. And Hank Alvey, so tough to stop. Three-point play here, hoop and foul, and the Tigers are winners on their home floor, 46-34. to Good small game here. Farmington matching up against Peoria Christian. And Peoria Christian's Adam Pepper going to run to the paint, float that one in for two. Then Drew Goring on a fast break, lays it up for the easy two. Now Zach Taylor from the corner for three. He knocks it down. And then Keontre Barnes with one of the dunks of the year. Fast break to the net, throws it down with some authority. But Malachi Persinger, he's going to have a step back three here for the Chargers. Peoria Christian winning 53-43 in a great game. Other winners tonight, Prairie Central again. Brimfield, Elmwood, El Paso, Gridley. Coming up, highlights from the girls wrestling sectional tournament. That's when Sports Extra continues.